Hi, in today's tutorial we are going to use image segmentation along with object detection. So this is our original image, we will detect the dog inside the image and then we will use segmentation to grab and extract the, the object out of this image. Sorry for my voice uh, today, a uh, little bit sick, but we will uh, finish this uh, video. This is a, a link for the installation process. I've done it uh, in this specific video. And this is the file that has all the instructions for installing the Conda environment and all the relevant Python libraries in order to achieve this process. So once again, we will do object detection and put a bounding box around our, our object. And then we will use segmentation process based on segment anything to extract the object out of this image. This segmentation video is part of a, a biggest a segmentation tutorials playlist. Uh, this is the link for the full playlist. So, uh, as always, I will leave a link in the video description. The link will be uh, for the code and for the images as well, so you can try it on your local uh, machine. So, let's uh, start coding. First of all, we will import some uh, Python libraries like uh, NumPy, PyTorch and Mat Matplotlib. We will also um, use OpenCV. This will be our original image. Let's copy the path for this image. So this is the, the path for our original image. So all the playground will be based on this image. Let's load this image uh, using OpenCV. And let's show the image. This is the basic stuff of uh, OpenCV library and wait key, we are waiting for a keystroke for closing the image. Great, so this is our image, let's continue. Now we will use the YOLO version 8 in order to run an object detection, so we will need to add to our installation process a very simple pip install, pip install ultralytics. This uh, simple command will install all the relevant Python libraries that are required to run the YOLO V8 models. Very simple uh, command and let's continue. Now we will import the YOLO uh, object out of the Ultralytics. And now we will create an instance of uh, the YOLO. We will use the YOLO Nano, which named YOLO uh, 8N. And this is a very uh, simple and short um, model out of the YOLO V8 models. They are medium, small, large, extra large. So we will use the Nano, which is the smallest one. So we are sending the, the image to our model and let's see the outcome of the process. The, the return value is stored in, in the object variable and this object variable contains many information. It contains all the possibility, all the, the eight, 80 categories that can be detected and also it contains all the detected uh, bounding box. So we will run now through the object variable and each obj will contain a detected object so we will we would like to to extract out of this object variable all the coordinates the x y boxes out of the detected uh, detected variable so uh, let's uh, uh, run the the loop through all the detected objects and First, let's print all the names that were detected. We're expecting to see only one. As you can see, dog. Uh, the model found one object inside our image, which is a dog. A dog basically is class uh, number 16. You can see it on the, on the log. So we would like to check whether uh, we 
if we find a, a class 16, then we will run our uh, object detection and segmentation process. So now we are running the same process, but we are asking only for class 16. So now it will detect only dogs. And once again, we are running through all the object, detected objects, and all the boxes inside the detected uh, object. And basically, we would like to extract the coordinate of, of each of those boxes. Okay, so now when we got our boxes, we need to get the classes inside of each of those boxes. So this CLS uh, variable uh, get all the classes inside of, inside of each of those boxes. And we get the class name using the names list. And we are sending the, the index of the class and we will grab back the class name. And now we are checking if, we, if our index, if our class number is a dog, we will uh, get the coordinates. The coordinates is stored in xy xy underscore coordinates. And now we're extracting each of the each of the points. X1, x1, y1 will be um, the left upper corner, and x2, y2 would be the right lower corner. So after we got the box coordinates, we would like to print them. Next, in order to, to use those coordinates and create a bounding box inside our, uh, outside our object, we need to convert those um, points, those coordinates from float to integer. Next, we will draw a rectangle, rectangle using OpenCV. So this function gets our image, the integer points, which are um, pointing our rectangle, the color and how thick is the, the rectangle and also let's add text which is the name of our object. In our case it would be a dog and these are the position and the font for the text and the color and once again how thick is the text. Now we are ready to start the segmentation process. So in order to do that, we will import the same the registry and the same predictor out of segment anything. So let's convert our image from BGR to RGB. OpenCV is based on BGR and the segmentation model is based on RGB. So we have to convert the channels to the color of the channels and now we will all load the, um, the model. In order to do that, we have to download at advance the same underscore vit underscore h model. This is the link for loading uh, this model. I also explained on the installation process. Once again, I will leave this code as a link in the video description so you can download it while you're watching this video. Next is the device. You should use your CUDA if you have a GPU card and CPU inside the device if you don't have this type of card. The model type will be with underscore H. And now we are creating an instance of the registry object named Sam. We are sending the model type and the checkpoints path. Now we are creating a predictor based on the same predictor and now we are sending our image, our RGB image to the same predictor. Now we have to send more information to the segment anything model and is expecting to coordinates where to look for our segmented object. So we have the coordinates of the bounding box that we grab using the object detection and we are sending it to our model, to the same model. So this is the input box. We are adding square uh, uh, brackets 
to the to the integer value to to the coordinates this is a, a request for the for the segment anything model so now we are ready for the prediction we will use the predict function this function can be activated using several arguments in our last tutorial we used a point underscore coordinate now we will use the box argument and we are sending to this function the input underscore box value so these are uh, these values are the bounding box uh, that we grab using the object detection and now basically we would like to display our image along with the object detection and the segmentation so in order to do that we have to copy a uh, free functions out of the uh, let's call it the, the demo code of a um, uh, segment anything so i copy it uh, to uh, to my code once again the code the link for the code will be in the video description and we will use this function in order to display the masks and display the boxes ar around our object. So this function will show the mask and this function will show the boxes around our object. And now we are ready to show, uh, we will save it uh, on the same path save it on, on the same path with a different name we will call it out uh, out of uh, jpg and we will show the result once again let's run it so this is our original image let's wait a few more seconds now he is doing object detection and also the segmentation process great this is the results you can see the bounding box and the text dog around the, the dog and also it's segmented we also grab the exact position of the dog thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye bye